Yo, what's good? Let's check out the final episode for Spirit Chronicles. Look at Now, you already know the YouTuber things, but if you want to talk about anime and manga, follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Joe Freshest. Links in the description below. And if you want to check out any of my other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to that playlist, though I don't just do reactions for this series. I do reactions for a ton of others, and you can find those in the playlists on the channel. With this series ending... Today, I would love to know what are your top three that you are looking forward to in the next season. I want to see if they're like all isekai or maybe if one of them is something that I'm considering watching. And by the way, if you're wondering what anime I will be watching in fall 2021, then you can click this link right up here to go and check out that video. Now, previously on Spirit Chronicles, we saw that Celia is trapped in a marriage that she's probably not going to be cool with. Our boy Rio is coming in to save the day. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically it. <laughs> that's essentially what's going on uh we know that our boy still wants his revenge on the one guy who killed his mama uh but at the same time he's trying to free celia right now i don't even know if that guy is in this city per se and yeah he's interrupting a wedding ceremony don't think that's gonna go over too well for him but then again rio's probably pretty fucking strong so we're gonna see how this all pans out uh let's jump into it here we go, our boy. Damn! That is a lethal kick, bro. You cannot be kicked that hard and survive. Jeez. Win magic! That man can fly. Holy shit. Oh, shut up. Y'all ain't enchanting shit. Your physical ability is still gonna be trash. <laughs> Bro, they about to get clapped and you go get clapped too. Ha <laughs> ha, get wrecked, dude. I can't wait. Uh, uh, up. Yeah, get wrecked. Yes! This is what we love to see. I'm kidnapping this girl. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on, dude? <laughs> Bro, what kind of security can even defend against our boy Rio? Fuck you mean. Come on. I'm kidnapping you. I mean, you should, honestly. Nah, he a dick. What? Why not, bro? Ah, come on, bro. He's an asshole, man. If, if he was Makoto from Tsukimichi, he would break his spine right now, and it would be so satisfying. What's <laughs> up, little princess? You remember our boy, Rio? You slapped him in his face. He's come for revenge against you as well. No. <laughs> yeah. Make your wish come true by killing you. Uh. You won't get shot in the face by an arrow right now. Take me away. <laughs> that man can fly, bro. What? Why aren't you flying, bro? Just fly. Soldiers, stop him. Y'all are bad soldiers, bro. They're literally fighting over themselves right now. Oh, yeah, when he ran out the dude's arm, the uh, Minotaur's arm. Fucking villain, dude. I ain't do shit to our boy. He's strong as fuck now. Shut up. This dude's so annoying, bro. Charles is such a little whiny... Bitch. Shut up. He's made plenty of enemies. Haha, <laughs> got him! <laughs> I love it, dude. 
Zoom, zoom. This isn't even that fast, bro. <laughs> it's pretty slow, honestly. <laughs> oh, the coordinates? What the hell? Damn, dude. Konoha Sempoon! <laughs> Is that the, the Rock Lee ability where he goes in the little... No? Okay. <clears throat> Shit, it's an easy clap for our boy. Why y'all all going in like one at a time, bro? Everybody literally th pierce at the same time with your swords. And that man will, will die. Guaranteed. Y'all ain't attacking with enough people at once. Yeah, duh. He's the king's sword. Good kick. Too bad, though. Man, what the hell? What the F? What did he just do? Hmm. Hmm. What is going on here? Why is there a storm? Brother? Dun dun dun. Who is it? What is it? He's dead. What happened? Is he like missing an arm or something? Bro, when are we gonna run into the, the villain dude that he wants revenge on? Fuck! I wanna see this revenge fight. The last fight was pretty solid, except it was really lacking on the in-betweens, I'm just saying. Get revenge. Bro, she gonna die. I don't know what it is, man. I just feel like she gonna die. Bro, what in the demon? What is this? Like a summoning? What are these? They're all different colors, bro. <gasps> oh, she is. Dude, so she is Mi Chan, right? Does that mean that she was on the on the train or something? Bro, this is my first time watching the ending and it's i'm really glad i never watched the ending before because <laughs> this shit is just all spoilers i would have known it was me chance from the jump bro wait what the fuck damn bro Sheesh. Oh, this one's Mi Chan. Wait, how's there two Mi Chans? No shot, there's two Mi Chans, right? Absolutely no shot. There's two Mi Chans, right? Wait, how the fuck? Bro, am I stupid or something? I swear we literally just like oh like the ending theme and everything. And like the ending of the episode before the credits and everything, like we were just finding out that Mi Chan is the spirit, right? How is she? Who? I don't. Bro, I'm so fucking lost. Like I don't understand that. That doesn't make sense to me. I was hoping we would get the big fight. Like I thought the end of the the season was gonna be the big fight between. Rio and the dude that killed his mother and stuff and like father and everything you know like I thought that's what the end was gonna be but no the end is actually this where some people were just transported here so maybe they didn't die on the train but for some reason they were teleported here why like who summoned them just now was it the evil red eyes guy I got questions and I'm not gonna get answers for a long time I'm wondering if this was a like uh, like a first core sort of thing, you know, like we're gonna get the second core in like spring of next year. Oh, I guess like winter or spring of next year, one of those. Or is this like actually a first season? Cause like that is a, a kind of shit way to end a first season, man. 
I mean, it's not the same as like Tokyo Revengers first season ending. Like, bro, that was, oh my God. I'm still mad at Tokyo Revengers for ending like that. I have to read it. But this is like, damn, bro. Like, I don't know, man. That's just so weird. So, okay, let's talk about the episode. What happens here is Rio actually does end up saving Celia. They leave. And as a result, now Celia is with Rio and the um, the spirit, Aisha. But then these beams of light shoot down. And apparently what those beams of light were, were people being transported here into this world from Japan, obviously, you know, from Japan. Uh, I would highly doubt that they would be teleported in from anywhere else, as in, in anime, everyone's Japanese. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, I'm really interested in seeing what's going on there. That's, uh, that's pretty interesting. It's something I did not expect to come. I thought we were gonna end this season, as I said, with that revenge fight. Now, I'm not entirely sure when that revenge fight's gonna happen. And what's most interesting is how is there two Mii-chan people, right? So you got the spirit who is embodied with Mii-chan, or is it just the memories that Haruto has of Mii-chan embodied into the spirit? And then actually Mii-chan coming down. Like, I don't entirely get that whole situation. Nonetheless, I would love to know what you all thought of this episode down in the comments below. Because I don't really have much to say. Like, I don't understand any of it. I don't really understand what's going on. We didn't get any information as to how it happened. Why? Uh, what exactly happened? None of that. I mean, we can make assumptions. And my assumptions are that it's just going to be a bunch of Japanese people coming in. In these different locations where these beams of light hit. But that's it. So, please do leave a comment down below about what you thought of this season. In. And of course, if you have something to say that would contain a spoiler, which by the way, I don't want your spoilers. So like, you know, I mean, I might be saying some things like, oh, I would love to know about the, like, just because I'd love to know doesn't mean I want you to tell me. And so don't do that. But if you have something to say that would contain a spoiler, please use a spoiler tag. What I mean by that is in a very brief sentence in quotes, address what you'll be talking about with your spoilers, skip a line, type the word spoiler, skip six lines, type out your spoiler comment. What everyone's gonna see is your very brief sentence in quotes with no spoilers, addressing what your spoilers will be about. They'll see the word spoilers and read more. If they click it, they can read your spoilers. If they don't click it, they won't get spoiled. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime episode reactions as well as manhwa chapter reactions and reviews on anime and manga when I catch up to or finish a series that I really enjoy. So if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. And until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.